Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at expansion panels and accordions in Angular Material. Expansion panels are basically panels which can collapse or expand to display additional details in a view. Let's take a look at some examples. To get started, import mat expansion module and add it to the material array. So in material.module.ts, import it and add it to the material array. Now in the HTML, let's create an expansion panel. The component to use is mat expansion panel. Every panel must contain a panel header component. It is this header which is displayed when the panel is collapsed. A header can contain a title and a description. We use mat panel title to add the title angular fundamentals and mat panel description to add a short description for the panel. Total duration 3 hours. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, we should have an expansion panel. You can see the title and the description as well. When I click on the header, the panel expands. Right now, the panel content is empty. Let's go back and add some text. Outside the header, but within the expansion panel, I'm going to add a paragraph. This is the panel content add course details. Material also provides an action row component which I'm going to add here. Mat action row, a button tag with the text enroll and mat button attribute. If you now take a look at the browser, we have the panel. I click on the header and we have the panel content. A paragraph tag and the action row which floats the enroll button to the right. The panel details can be any HTML you wish to and is not limited to a paragraph tag. But this is pretty much how you create a basic expansion panel with Angular Material. Next, let's take a look at creating accordions. An accordion is basically multiple expansion panels grouped together. Let's start off by duplicating the existing panel and changing the header and the description. I will change the title to Angular Material and the total duration to 2 hours. I will leave the content and action row as is. If we now take a look at the browser, we should have two panels. The two panels though work independently of each other. Let's add the mat accordion component to convert these panels into an accordion. So back in VS Code, I'm going to add the mat accordion component and the two expansion panels are children of this component. If we now take a look at the browser, we still have the two panels, but this time, when you try to expand the second panel, the first one collapses automatically. The accordion also adds a bit of margin between the panels which would otherwise not be present. Now, if at all you want multiple panels to be shown at the same time, you can set multi is equal to true on the mat accordion component. If we take a look at the browser, you can see that we can now expand both the panels at the same time. And if you notice to the right of the panel header, we have the toggle icon. If at all, for some reason, you want to hide this, simply add the hide toggle attribute on the accordion. Hide toggle. Take a look at the browser. Now it is hidden. Now there are a couple of methods which could be useful depending on your requirement so I will leave them for you to explore. The methods are pretty much like what we have already seen in some of the other components. 
There are methods to open or close the panels programmatically and also events to know when a panel is expanded or collapsed. But this is pretty much the gist on how to create expansion panels and accordions with Angular Material. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.